Good morning. Happy Saturday, you guys. I have some big plans today. I'm so excited. I am back several hours later. Went to Hobby Lobby, got three, super cute. Got our garland. Um, and what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm gonna make this wreath. You'll see I picked up, hi Tin Man, but you'll see I picked up a 36 inch grapevine wreath. I was originally gonna do 30 inch, but I saw it in person and I said, no, I'm gonna do 36 inch. Three garlands. This one looks like it might be lighter than these two. Yeah, just a little, but that's okay. So I chose these garlands because I think they're just so pretty. And like I wanted the green color, but not too green of a color. And they were on sale right now, which apparently Hobby Lobby's greenery goes on sale every other week. So they were on sale. Originally they are $19.99 and they were on sale for $10 each. So overall this plus a furl wire probably cost me about $50. Yes, it did. But originally, a 36 inch wreath like this would probably cost you about 100 to $150 if it was made. So, so we have our wire. We are pushing all of this to where it's to the front because we want it to look nice and fluffy. So you'll see we have this stick and then we have this main part. So we're putting the wire underneath, removing all of this beautiful greenery out of the way and we're going to just wrap it around just the main stick and the main part of the garland so you'll see it's like that so we still have our nice fluffy flame greenery showing but it's not in the way so then we just pull it down and then we just twist it a couple of times making sure to really put the pressure down and then we'll just kind of put this right side under the stick to where it comes up on the left side then we pull this original left side under the stick to where it comes up on the right side oh we're stuck okay so then you have it there and then you just twist it some more and you will have to keep fighting with these depending on how bushy your garland is um and then we're just going to wrap this under because usually what you should have is all of this greenery to kind of cover all of that. So, we just keep on going. And you can do it as little or as often as you want. Since this is a big wreath, I'm going to kind of do it more often. So then that way it just stays like tight and secure. Okay, so I decided with that extra garment, instead of putting it on the mantle where like the wreath is going to be too, it'd be just, I don't know, too much. Because I also want that those flowers under there to kind of give it some extra color. I decided to go ahead and put it on our, what do you call this, entertainment center. So my mom sent us these books for our anniversary. The sunflower is just like, look, it's so old. It has hair just constantly stuck to it. So we moved his games down here. And I took that of him. And he actually took that of me. So I think it kind of turned out really nice. Just put up. It turned out so cute and you can see that they like take up a good amount of wall but not too much wall hey it's up ba 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 okay guys that's all of the projects that we're gonna do today um like i was saying about the the wreath i got that wreath it's 36 inch wreath for t regularly $21.99, so $22, but I did the 40% off coupon, so whatever 40% off of that is. Then today the garlands were on sale, so they're regularly $19.99, so I got them for actually like $10. Um, so I got three of them. I only used one and two thirds of a wreath, or the garlands, so if you wanted to just make the wreath, you could do that. Um, if you also wanted the extra garland for like maybe somewhere else in your house, which I decided that if I had too many garlands for the wreath, then that's what I was just gonna do. Then you can get three like I did, and I just tied it, and it looks good. The photos, they're just 20 by 30, 
I got them 50% off from Walgreens. So originally they're like, I think $21, $23 with taxes and everything to print. So since they were having like the month or state sale, it was actually $13. And then the frames were $13 as well from Walmart. So overall, they, that would be $26. The, since the prints originally are $26, I would highly recommend to do the, um, to try to get them on sale. Wait till you can get them on sale or if you have like a 50% off coupon or something, do it that way. Because otherwise, the prints alone would be $26. And then like, that's like $40 for a picture. And I'm sorry, like, I love them, but not $40 for a picture worth <laughs> Yeah, I took the photos myself kind of over a period of time and I decided I wanted to do black and white so it didn't clash because what I'm doing is we're getting some gray like plaid pillows and then we're getting some like green velvet pillows. I want to bring a lot of greenery in there um, because, you know, with that window open, it's very bright and it's very beautiful even though it's a sliding glass, but it's like it's in the perfect spot to where you get the morning sun. So I don't want to try to raise my own plants right now because of you know the fur babies and stuff so I'm just I'm gonna do fake ones and I'm okay with that so it doesn't bother me and then I'm gonna actually bring a couple of fake ones too in here in the bedroom as well we have a hook right here above my bedside table that's perfect for a hanging plant and I was going to over there by the fireplace put the um put like a tall fake plant tree type thing but then Hadane came up with an idea of, he was like, well, you could put a hanging plant too there. And I was like, oh, I like that idea much better because then it'll take it up without taking up the floor space. And I'm okay with that because we have very little square footage, and, but we have tall ceilings, so why not? So that's a great idea. And then I'm going to get also a fake plant for a um, giraffe plant stand that my mama got me a, a few years ago or whatever. So that's going to be by like the entertainment center kind of when we walk in. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be so cute. I'm really not doing much to the bedroom. I'm probably going to get rid of the blue, the dark blue curtains because they just don't match the blue, blue on our bed and maybe just go with like a gray um, because our bed is like a wood. It's like a cherry stain, I guess. And then we have our dresser over here that's like a dove gray type color, kind of like the color of the sheet. And then we have an old cedar chest that's just kind of old. So, and then our bedside tables are like white metal ones that I got from Ikea a while ago. Basically, there should be garden tables, but I have no idea. I don't know. It just is what it is. Which is why we're kind of decorating. But we're not going to de decorate everything at once because mama ain't got that kind of money. That's kind of what we've got going on. So, I will see you tomorrow. Happy Saturday, guys.